the multifidus muscle and its relationship to the lower back and recovering from a disc bulge like an L4, L5 disc bulge or an L5, S1 disc bulge. That's the focus of today's episode of Ask Dr. Walter Salubro, episode number 27. What I do in this very special series on my channel is I'll take a question from the comment section under my videos just like this and I'll answer that question in a video format just like this. And what that does is it gives me an opportunity to put more content out for you, my followers on YouTube, as well as give you information and answer questions that may be asked, not just by one person, but may be on the mind of many other viewers, okay? So um, today's focus and question is gonna be on the multifidus muscle, its relationship to back pain, how to sense it, how to feel for it, and the kind of exercise that can be useful. So today's question is by Miroslav, and Miroslav, um, he provides a bit of a history about his condition of L5, S1 uh, disc herniation, and L4, L5 disc herniation, being 25 years old, and uh, talks about his posture and uh, the hyperlordosis that he has. So the question that he asks related to the little blurb that he provided in the comment section is this. What is the role of multifidus in the supporting and stabilization of the spine? How to feel if that muscle works? How to learn to activate that muscle? How to train it? Can it be done with exercise like planks? That's a great question because very thought provoking and obviously um, of high interest to this individual, Miroslav. So, so the multifidus muscle is a very, very important stabilizer of the spine. It attaches along the spine from top all the way down to the bottom on both sides and essentially helps keep your back in extension and erect and also keeps it very firmly stabilized, okay? Now with a back injury, whether it's a sprain, a strain, a subluxation, a misalignment, or a disc injury, it may alter the function of the multifidus muscle. It may not just weaken it, but kind of get it sleepy so it's not functioning fully. Also, the multifidus muscle has a high concentration of proprioceptors. Proprioceptors are joint position sensors or position sensors in your body. What that means is, is they'll give information to the brain about the position and of your spine or the position of your body and space. So they're very, very important. So when there's a back injury or a disc injury, it may alter the proprioception of the multifidus muscle, which is very important to now rehab and stabilize all over again. So that's why it's very important. So how do you activate it? How do you know if it's functioning and it's firing? The best way to do it is by standing up and I'll show you in a moment. One way to do it is by putting your thumb behind your back along your spine, where those muscles are along your spine on the lateral aspect. Then you raise the opposite arm and you wanna feel for the contraction or a bulging out of those spinal muscles, which is the multifidus muscle being activated. And I'll tell you why that happens in a moment. So let me show what that looks like. So if I can back up over here, okay? So take your thumb, put it behind here, and then lift this, and you should feel the muscle activating on that side, okay? So that's how you activate the multifidus muscle. So you wanna feel the muscle bulge up under your thumb. Now, why does that happen? Well, the multifidus muscle is one of those muscles that initiate activation and contraction. The moment you your brain is thinking about the movement you're about to make. So the moment that my brain is thinking about or sensing the, um, the kind of like the preliminary movement of my arm going laterally, the multifidus muscle is already reacting and contracting to help stabilize your posture and your spine. So that's how important it is, okay? That means that you need exercises that will help activate that, not on the same side of the multifidus, but on the opposite side of the multifidus muscle. So some of the best exercises I'll give you two are gonna be bird dog, bird dog exercise where you're on your hands and knees, and then you point one hand out in front, and then you point the opposite leg back into extension, gets the multifidus muscle very, very well activated. I give that exercise to almost all my back injury patients to help stabilize and uh, strengthen their lower back. And another exercise that I give to my patients for the multifidus muscle is the side plank. Side plank is very challenging, and um, you can start with a modified side plank where you're on your knees, and then you go up on your elbows, and eventually you can work into a full side plank. So that's kind of a, a bit of an introduction towards the multifidus muscle, how to activate it, why it's important, and the type of exercise you can start with, which is bird dog and side plank or modified side plank, to get it activated, get it strengthened, get it stabilized, to help with the rehabilitation of your lower back, regardless of the back injury, whether it's a back sprain, misalignment, postural problems, or disc bulges, okay? So that's the answer of today's question in the Ask Dr. Walter Salubro series. 
and is episode 27. And if you leave a comment or a question, perhaps it may be featured in the next episode of Ask Dr. Walter Salubro. And so do that right now. If you're new to this channel, subscribe to this for all the great content I put out on a daily and weekly basis. And if you wanna catch some of the past episodes of this series, just go right here to the playlist over there and you can watch all of the episodes from the beginning. You can pick some of your favorite titles or just watch any ones you like, okay? So go ahead and do that by watching the playlist right there.